Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is a story that happened, I was involved this year, recently, and it's about two dollar bills, interesting two dollar bills that were given by the Lubavitcher Rebbe Zatzal. And I'll tell you exactly how the story unfolded. Um, February 10th, 2012, this year, Arab Shabbos Kedish Pashas Yisrei, a friend of mine calls me up, and he's totally excited. He's not a Lubavitcher, but he knows that I have a connection to Lubavitch, and he tells me the following story. He tells me that his wife sent him shopping for potatoes in a local store, <clears throat> and he bought the potatoes, he gave the fellow at the counter, he gave him a $10 bill, and the fellow gives him back change, $2. He looks at the dollar bills, first he didn't notice anything, and then he noticed this writing on the dollar bills. He looks closer, and it says in Hebrew, of course, I will not tell you the names of the people, the exact full names, because I didn't get the permission to broadcast this. But anyone who contacts me privately, I'll gladly give you all the details with the full last names. So a friend of mine who should remain with the name as Reb S, um, looks at the dollar bills, and he sees it's written in Hebrew. I received this dollar bill. The person who received it, Mr. B., writes that I received the dollar bill uh, this and this date from the holy hand of the Lubavitcher Rebbe and one dollar bill is Utes Kislev Tovshin and Aleph 5751 and the other was a different date written a different color ink but it's the same person and he calls me up and he's totally excited and he wants to know what, what to do with it what is the value of it, what to do with it so, uh, we talked about it, the interesting thing that was found at Erev Shabbos and Parshas Yisro. I told him the two, the two means uh, the next day is the Seres Adibris, the two Shnei Duch Sabris, whatever it is. To make a long story short, I made it my business. I told him I will try to find the owner of the two dollar bills. So, I asked around. I called people. Um, I looked up in, in the, uh, the Babish directory, uh, the name to be. Uh, as I said, I'm not going to say the full name until I get the permission. And uh, this goes on February 10th, and there's nothing happening. Finally, I've decided to put an ad into the Hamodia newspaper, and they have a lost and found. So I put in an ad. First, I put in an ad that was not so clear. It said two items of sentimental value found, and... If you think you're the owner, please uh, contact me, and I gave the cell number. Okay. A uh, month passed away, a month passed, and nothing happened. So I decided to be more specific. So I wrote two dollar bills from the Lubavitcher Rebbe, comma, and the name of the person, again, is B, with a B, and a full name, of course, I wrote in the paper to call this and this number. I didn't give the first name. Okay, nothing happens. A few weeks ago, we're talking about weeks and weeks and weeks, a few weeks ago, my friend calls me up, he says, there's nothing happening. He wants to, uh, Rebes wants to take the dollar bill, he wants to buy a lottery ticket with it, he wants to give me one. Anyhow, so he says, wait, let's be a little bit more patient. Uh, a few weeks ago, Thursday, it was uh, June 7th, 17th of 7, um, a woman calls me up, Mrs. B, she is here in Brooklyn. She's here in, in Brooklyn. She lives in Florida right now. She used to live in Crown Heights. And she was at a graduation, and somebody said to her, Mrs. B, there was an ad in the Almodia for this and this. Maybe it's yours or one of somebody, a member of your family. So she called me. So I said to her, you know what, it so happens that I took a picture with the dollar bills on my iPad and I have the pictures and I will email them. She says she, she said she thinks it might be her son's. 
And uh, I said, let me mail it to her. And by the way, I forgot to mention a fact. I told my friend immediately that obviously the two dollar bills were lost. Actually, I said they were stolen. Because nobody doesn't make sense. Somebody would stand for hours to get a dollar bill from Robert Sherebbe, that's all. And then he would just spend it on something, or he would just... doesn't make any sense. So obviously it was stolen or lost. Anyhow, so, so I get back to this, so I emailed to Mrs. B., and I emailed the dollar bills, and a few hours later she calls me back, and she says she confirms, her son confirmed, that these are the two dollar bills that he received from the Bobby Trevor at different times. Then, later on that evening, I called the husband, and we talked a little bit, how he came to Lubavitch, and the whole uh, story, we were talking. So then, I said to him, uh, may I ask you a question? I said, sure. He says, Arab Shabbos Kedish Pashish Yisroi, is that a significant... Oh, yeah, yeah. And then the father said to me, well, how, did he, how did he lose son, How did he lose the dollar bills? Because his son was driving a bus, and he was robbed about a year ago, and he had a Tashe case, an India Tashe case. There were two dollars in addition to the credit cards that were sold and all that. There were two dollars from the rabbit, and this is how he lost it, exactly as I assumed. It's common sense, logical. So, um, so then I said, again, I said to him, Zerah Shabbos Kodesh Pashat Yisra, does it mean anything to you especially? He said, no, nothing that he recalls. A few hours later, he calls me back and he says, I looked at the calendar again, and here is the story. Many moons ago, many years ago, they had a child who passed away, unfortunately, a loyalino by the age of five and a half Shabbos, er, Shabbos, Pashas Yisroi, is the yard site, was the yard site of his son. This Pasha of Shabbos, Pashas Yisroi, was the yard site of the son. So in other words, I found, we found the dollar bills, Arab Shabbos, the Friday before. Then, that's interesting enough, but the day that he called me, when the woman found out about it, was Thursday, 17th of 7. That night, was Yudchas Sivan, 18 days of Sivan, which is the birthday of the child who passed away. So this is like, it was striking, striking coincidence. We found it, the Arab Shabbos, on the child's yard site. It came back to them on the day of the uh, birthday of the child. So I sent to my friend, uh, this is finding, finding something that Shabbos Aved it's, it's almost like uh, a remez that they, the child that they lost, they will get back. It will come back to them, just like Gedali came back, which means Mason, the resurrection of the dead that we all hope will happen very, very shortly. There's one more thing. Uh, the woman asked me about the son. She says he's divorced and he's a shidduch. And she says there were cases where a dollar bill was lost and then found, and a shidduch came about it. So she said to me, do I know a shidduch for a son, and I'm working on it? And if that pans out, I will then have episode two of this story. In the meantime, I thought it was an interesting story, and I want to share it with you. Have a pleasant evening. Good night.